Hello there, Scott Schubert here with Trading Mastermind, and today I wanted to cover something that is really important that a lot of people in the trading world are talking about right now, and that is trading during global economic crisis, coronavirus pandemic phenomenon that's been going on, and in general, trading during quarantine and lockdown periods that many of us are going through right now. So how is it going with you guys? Are you under quarantine? Have you been staying home, forced to stay home? And another thing is that a lot of people are not able to continue their work and their careers and their businesses. And for those of us who know how to trade, this is a, a glorious time because we're at home, our life is simplified and we're not going anywhere. I'm under quarantine and have been under quarantine for quite some time. So instead of seeing that as a negative thing, I just try to see that as a positive thing, as if I'm on a personal retreat where I get to simplify my life and just focus on the things that are most important to me. Trading is one of those things. And for those of us who know how to trade, this is an excellent time to harvest profit from the market. As I'm going to show you in just a moment, how do you trade during this pandemic, this coronavirus thing? How do you actually trade during this period of time that is considered one of the worst global economic crises ever? So one benefit that we have in our community is we are trading together with other people who we know and people who are supporting us. We are trading with other colleagues and trading experts who support us in what we're doing because we can all share what it is that we're looking at and what we're doing. Once you get isolated, socially distanced and isolated, you can get caught up in your own thoughts and your own anxiety and, and you may discover that you're seeing things differently from other people. So you can be together with people who are, especially if they are calm and relaxed and they're looking at the market. There could be people somewhere else in the world who might sit down at their computer and just be freaking out when there's really nothing wrong with the charts and nothing stopping them from having good results in trading. Okay, so if you're involved in trading financial markets of any kind, whether it's Forex, stocks, commodities, gold, oil, options, any kind of uh, market that can be traded, today you're gonna have a major breakthrough and you're gonna have a new insight that's gonna change the way that you currently are trading and it's going to improve your results in the future with your trading. And why am I confident that that is true? Because I know what markets are doing and I'm about to show you what markets are doing. And once you are aware of what markets are doing, then your chances of having good results are greatly increased. So if we look here, this is one of the things that really shows how the market has been behaving. And here is the weekly time frame of the US dollar index, the version that is equally weighted, not weighted to one particular currency pair. And what we have here is a pattern. Now, a lot of people are not aware that these shapes are a language that can be read and it does take some time and practice to become aware of that. So when we look here at the daily time frame, can we see that there is a very distinct pattern? So right here where the market was going up, for the US dollar, it was going up with amazing volatility and strength. And during that period of time, was there any difficulty with trading for you? Like say, for instance, you clicked your mouse and went long. Was there any problem where you, you couldn't click the mouse? You couldn't go long or, or if there was any problem during that period of time, it would have to be something in your mind if for some reason you didn't believe that you should go long. Now, what about during all of this time since it turned here recently on, let's say, March 19th or 20th, the market turned and it began to form a different pattern with a series of waves that are also very distinct. Okay, let me explain one other thing, and that is that for people, most of the people in the world, they are going to their charts and they're opening up the charts and they're going to, for instance, say the five minute and just start trading with some type of strategy that they have learned. You just open up the charts, go to the five minute and start applying some kind of strategy. And 
anyone who is doing that will not know what the market is doing. Because if you didn't see this, you don't know what the market is doing. And this would affect any trades that you would enter on any time frame. I'm not trading necessarily on the weekly or the daily time frame, but in order to know what the market is doing, I would need to see this because you know another thing that you will notice here is I will tend to adjust that further to the 12 hour time frame. And for this pattern, I have been focusing a lot on the 12 hour and the eight hour time frame. Is that a universal thing that I would always do? No, it's something that I would adjust for each pattern because a pattern is formed by the market. The market made the pattern. I didn't make it. I didn't decide where it can be seen. It can be seen on the 12 hour and the eight hour. On the daily, you can't see as much detail of this pattern. If I go shorter than the eight hour, you'll be seeing too much detail. You won't be able to see this pattern. So the market formed the pattern, but in order to see it, I will automatically adjust my charts to the 12 hour and the eight hour time frame. And if you follow what I just said, you may have one of your greatest breakthroughs right there. Because how can you get good results by seeing what the market is doing? People who are going directly to the five minute who cannot see what the market is doing, do you believe you would get better results by seeing and understanding what the market is doing or by not seeing it and not understanding what the market is doing? So the other fascinating thing about what has been going on with the market and not just this market, as I'm about to show you, all the markets put together is that as this has been forming this interesting little pattern in trading in our community, we have been identifying each of these turning points, mostly without fail and without getting in in places where it's not a turn and making sure that we are identifying and getting in to the places where it is a turn because if there's any profit that could be made during this period of time, it would be identifying each of these turning points. Now, most people in the world would have no idea or even most people would not even believe that you can do that. But if someone could demonstrate to you how to do that, then a lot of people would discover that, yes, you can do that. It's not impossible to do. And in fact, it's not that difficult to do. I think any average person can learn with some training and practice how to identify specific points where the market is turning. You wouldn't be able to do that just by opening a chart and getting in using any indicator or any other way of doing any kind of a trade, just opening a chart and getting in. You would have to go through a series of steps and you need to look at them a range of time frames in order to be able to understand and spot and identify these points where the market is turning, even within a pattern such as this. Now take a look at the DXY, the US dollar index that is weighted to the Euro versus the dollar. And notice how this pattern has a slightly different version of that same pattern. But is it extremely distinct in a way? It's very distinct. And it's not necessarily like the market is just going to trend lines and then turning every time. But with a combination of different things that you can see, you can identify turning points. In fact, these trend lines are on here in hindsight. Before this has turned, most recently, there wasn't any place to put a trend line. So we wouldn't know that that was a trend line. And even over here, we wouldn't know necessarily that that was going to become a part of this trend line. And Trend lines are mainly used in hindsight because each time that the market respects a trend line, it is actually less likely to respect it in the future. So the whole idea of trend lines, uh, it has some significance, but it must be used with some caution and with other information and other aspects of your skill. So if you happen to look at the US stock market, and even at other stock markets, the Japanese 225, the uh, Australian stock market, the Chinese stock market, European, there are similar patterns all around the world because they are reflecting the overall changes in sentiment that are similar in various different markets. And it's kind of amazing. So if you look at the S&P 500 or the Dow, 
you're going to see this amazing turn. In fact, the very day that this turned, we were able to identify that it was a turn, not just a little bit of retracement or a little bit of movement down. We were able to identify long in advance that it was about to turn. And how could you do that? Well, there are ways anybody could do that. You can see signs that are like the language of the market. It's just the same. If you learn to read the English language, you will at some point learn this is letter A, this is letter B, this is letter C. You put things together, put letters together to form words, put words together to form sentences. And as you get more advanced, you'll be able to put sentences together to form paragraphs or to write or literature, whatever it is. And that is how you read the market. People who have been conditioned to just open an account, ask someone what's a good strategy or get a signal and then just start getting into trades. Well, is it surprising that that doesn't work? So anyway, if you look at this shape here, it is a very distinct shape, just like looking at a set of letters that you can read in a language. And for people who know how to read the language of the market, you can see what this means. The amazing thing is that the Dow looks incredibly similar to the Aussie. Aussie versus the Yen right there. Isn't that almost the same pattern? The Aussie versus the dollar is very similar. The Aussie versus the Swiss, if I go to the daily or the 8 to 12 hour, is going to be very similar. There are other very similar patterns that we can see with some of the metals, even with cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin. There is a, a similarity that the market has been going through that isn't exactly the same, but parts of it are very similar. So in our trading community, it has been wonderful to be able to spend this time every day with other people who many of them are also going through a quarantine period and very focused on trading. And I'm so thankful that during this period of time, we have been able to successfully extract profit from the market using our skill and remaining in a, in a calm state, looking at the market with a realistic view that we understand what it's doing and that we're not making up in our mind something that it's not doing. We're able to see what it's doing and trade because of it. And I would like to help more people to experience that. If you'd like to see what it's like to trade together every day in live sessions where we're all looking at the same thing and we're all reading the market and making decisions about how to trade every single day together. This can greatly accelerate your path of development in trading. Now, if you don't know how to trade and you're desperate to get money to live on for the next month, don't focus on trading right now. Get yourself another job, another business, and focus on that. Make sure if you have never had consistent profit in your account for extended periods of time, don't do this and expect that suddenly you will. You have to be able to relax and take time and practice over as much time as is needed without being under stress or pressure. So that's the one thing that I would encourage everyone. Don't join our community if you desperately need to make money that very next month, because that would not be a wise thing to do. Make sure that you have another source of income first, or if you have been trading for a long time and you have had results in the past and you just need a little bit of tweaking and improvement, well, then you may be able to get that kind of tweaking and improvement right in the very beginning and start seeing some results, but there's no guarantee, obviously. So if you'd like to join our live daily sessions, first of all, just go to tradingmastermind.com and you can sign up for a free professional trading course that will get you going without you having to spend any money. If you want to get involved in our formal training, all of our live online web conferencing events every day and live trading, plus our vast series of training videos, archived live trading sessions and participate in our Telegram group where we have live updates and alerts every day. Just go to tradingmastermind.com and let us know if you'd like to participate in that. Let me know how things are going for you. Are you enjoying your life and your trading experience during this 
period of time where we are under quarantine, or are you having any kind of, of difficulty or even psychological difficulty that many of us may be having from stress and from all the, the things that are going on in the world? That is part of success in trading is mastering the psychology. So I hope that this benefits you and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.